Greetings. This is the Ghetto Free Press, The Voice, in Valdosta, Georgia. I'm standing before the Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice. Yesterday, I came with Shandalyn Watson, Watkins, concerning her 14-year-old daughter that were handcuffed, thrown down on the floor, face down, after being attacked by two students at Pineville, Lord have mercy, Pine Grove Middle School. You don't know nothing about that outside of my YouTube channel because the local news media don't want you to know about it or they are forbidding or they are forbidden to tell you about it by some law that I don't know about. But the family wants you to know about it because they are concerned that this could happen to some other child at some school system. And so the ghetto free press wants you to know, as Paul Harvey would say, the rest of the story. Yesterday, when I brought Chandelin here, and her daughter, there was a young black African-American man who was so upset with the Georgia juvenile justice system and the way they was treating him that he became belligerent, he would not talk to anyone, he re left here running. The professionals in this building, I commend them for the great work and the way they handle that situation. However, after reading in the newspaper about a Lowndes County Sheriff deputy violating his oath of office, according to what I've read, it casts another shadow over our city and over our city, county, and state of Georgia. If you remember, I'm not a prophet. But I have told you, I have said to you, that we got to understand where man leaves off and where God takes over. Let me repeat, we got to understand where man leaves off and God takes over. I want to make this statement. You haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. And it has nothing to do with me. It has more to do with the righteous people here in Valdosta and Lowndes County, if we have any left. The righteous people, those who really believe in Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, or the son of Amram and Yoshebel, Moses in Judaism when the righteous wakes up and become concerned about their children their beloved community and their sons and daughters who are stationed at Moody Air Force Base who have their students going to Valdosta State University Wiregrass Technical College and Georgia Military College when the righteous wakes up, that will make the difference. <clears throat> but as long as the so-called dippers, the dippers, the dippers, as long as the dippers continue to duplicate, imitate, and placate God and his followers, nothing will change. But when the people remove themselves from under the spell of the Leviathan, change is on its way. Now, back on point. The next video that you see will be concerning the Southern Judi Judiciary and a sheriff deputy on September the 6th at the juvenile court where Judge James Council presided over 
Shandela Brockman's daughter's case. The statement was made by a sheriff deputy to Shandelin, the mother, that the crap, the crap, the crap that y'all have on YouTube. Now look, the next video is going to be about that crap. But before I get into that, I want to say this. I was shocked yesterday. And I, it pained me in my heart when I saw this 14-year-old girl, black, here at the Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice. She wasn't in school. I asked the mother, why is she not in school? And she said to me, because I fear for my daughter's life. I can't put her back in the school system, Brother Ryans. If the judges, if the judicial system, if the sheriff's department and members of law enforcement can treat my daughter like this, there is no justice. And I'm concerned about her safety and my own safety, she said. That is no environment for anybody to have to leave. And then to see in the, in the newspaper about a sheriff deputy doing things that are unethical, that is against their oath of office. I've been saying it before. What's going on here? Why can't we get our newspaper to report on this 14-year-old victim, as her mother says, or my criminal trespass one, 118 days, I have been banned from all Lowndes County school systems, property, without anything being filed in the court system. I've said it before, and it's gonna keep coming out, and I'm asking all people of average intelligence who love their mother, their fathers, their sisters, or their brothers to start telling the truth. Don't just go to church. Don't just go to temple. Don't just go to mosque. Don't just go to masjid on the alley slum. Please, don't just go to the synagogue. Stand up for what is right in God's world. Our world is not going to get better unless we make it better. If we allow the wicked, along with the forces of Satan, under the spell of the Leviathan, to take over our city, our county, our state, our nation, and our world, then we deserve the world that we get. Oh, you may laugh at me. Yeah, you may laugh at me. You may call what I put on YouTube crap. But I would like for you to go back again. I want you to Google kvci.blogspot.com. Let me say it again. kvci.blogspot.com. The KVCI means keeping Valdosta citizens informed. I started out with those acronyms way back when I found out that there seemed to be an old Valdosta, 1860 Valdosta City Charter mentality, which reads in section 100, article 11. This was a document posted on the second floor of Valdosta City Hall, leading into Judge Edwards courtroom in 2004. <clears throat> and I asked that it be removed under Mayor John Freddy. He saw nothing wrong with it. Some other whites on the council saw nothing wrong with it. And they fought to keep it. But eventually, I had already told them 
that I was 100% sure that it would be removed, just like I'm 100% sure that when the light shines on Valdosta and Lowndes County and the state of Georgia, our children will be able to breathe a sign of relief when justice comes to the juvenile court system and the whole Southern judiciary in the state of Georgia. And so that 1860 charter said that the mayor and council shall pass all proper and necessary laws and ordinances for the control, suppression, and to abate all slaves and free persons of color here in Valdosta and Lyons County. They even put black in the same paragraph to obey all nuisances arriving from hogs, dogs, horses, and other animals stranded at large in Valdosta. Yet, our sons and our daughters have fought in every war of this great nation. And yet, that disgraceful charter was much like Baba Park that we fought to change the name because it was closed rather than allow blacks into that park to swim in the swimming pools. And Councilman Sonny Vickers was one of the blacks who knew about that history. And so today we're going to close this out now. But I want to let you know that the things that some people call crap under our form of government and the First Amendment right, we have a right not only to press it into your mind, but we have a right according to the volume of sacred law, John 8.32, to give you the truth because only the truth going to set you free. But it is indeed strange that some people will call what we put on YouTube crap. I guess many people will call what Jesus uttered in his lifetime crap. And so I'm glad to hear you come out at Jesus like that because God is truth. God is love. And when you come out against truth and call it that low level then you are saying more, in my most humble opinion, about yourself than you are saying about me and those who stand for what is right in God's world. I want to say to you, I'm hoping that one day we will get a call from those in power, the civil rights movement, and say, Rhymes, we want to know what's going on with you. If you've been banned from public property in the state of Georgia, we want to know about it. I'm waiting for somebody who loves and who are not lying when they say we love our veterans. Because I'm a veteran, and if you love me, why haven't you embraced me? I haven't heard nothing from the U.S. Attorney General. I haven't heard nothing from the Georgia Attorney General. Nothing from the governor, nothing from no elected official in the state of Georgia concerning my constitutional right to have freedom of movement unlike the days of slavery and Jim Crow. Now you wonder, why am I doing this? I'm doing this on behalf of black people, white people, brown people, red people, and if, if extraterrestrials come, even they could be protected. They will have freedom of movement which I don't have. Do you not know Governor Nathan Deal, Georgia Attorney General, Georgia Secretary of State, Lyons County Board of Commissioners, Chairman Slaughter, Mayor John Gale? Don't you know that I cannot even go to a football game at Lyons County High School? And that's where my children graduated from high school before going to Fort Valley State College? And if you notice me, I'm not angry. I'm 
just gonna tell you to give you the crap, as a sheriff deputy said. I'm gonna keep giving you the crap, and I want you to refute what I'm saying. Listen, this is an open invitation. This is an open invitation. I'm gonna say it again for the Holy Ghost. This is an open invitation for anybody that wants to challenge me in front of the camera on YouTube to refute anything that you see published on Boston GBR channel. Yes, I welcome the challenge. And I want you to disapprove me, Mr. Sheriff Deputy. Anyone, even city police, challenge me. Or you can take me out to Clay Road when I stood up about that speed trap I took, we took before city council. That's still a problem. That's not crap. That is a reality that's a speed trap on Clay Road. It is a fact of reality that signs are blocked in this city by scrubbery that are causing driving conditions to be a hazard to motorists and pedestrians. It is a fact, not crap, that Toon Street is a mess. And I brought it before city council and you haven't seen nothing in your newspaper because to them it may also be crap. But the people who love Jesus, who love righteousness, who go to the real church and who bow down in the holiness of God, they know it's the truth. But we know that Satan have always called truth the crap and crap the truth. And they always end up when history is unfolded to be nothing more than footnotes at the bottom pages of history. Don't you know, Lester Maddox was a Christian. Lester Maddox was a patriot. George Wallace was a Christian. George Wallace was a patriot. Sheriff Bull Connor was a Christian. Sheriff Connor was a patriot. But Dr. King was just the man that he was and books and volumes are still being wrote about him. We are still listening to his speeches, while those who was the patriots, they say, and the Christians of that era, as we have those today like Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, they are nothing more. The history of those men that I just mentioned are nothing more than footnotes at the bottom pages of history. I wanna say again, I commend the workers here at Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice. They got that young man back yesterday. They called him in. They got him to sign the papers that he was too upset to sign. And that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. People working with people, not calling names, just standing up on the basis of truth. Once again, this is the ghetto free press. It's not about black folk and it's not about white folk. It's not about brown folk. It's not about red folks. It's not about yellow folks but it's about all the folks of the Creator. That Creator is Jehovah, El Shaddai, Allah, or Jah, whatever you want to call him. I got a record at the house with, with 425 names that he's called. And so I don't get tied up on your foolishness. What I want to do is do what's right in God's world. Until next time, this is your little brother, Brother George Boston Ryan, saying listen to the next clip and let truth clip your mind. And you be the decision maker. You measure and compare a dirty glass of water against a clean glass of water and I'm not, let me repeat that you be the judge between the dirty glass of water and the clean glass of water you don't have to argue over a dirty glass of water just set the clean glass of water up beside it and this is what we do on the ghetto free press we just keep setting up the clean glass of water and those who want it gonna get it and those who don't will not and all we can say to them as the Muslims would say is I salam alaikum or as the Jews would say shalom and as the Christian would say simply bye bye we gone in Jesus name bye bye we gone.